Welcome to Adam About. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how brand new hot tub owners get started with the chemicals they need for their hot tub and how to keep the water clean and safe. I'm here in Plymouth on what is once again another glorious sunny day and I'm here to talk about the hot tub starter kit from Clearwater. It contains everything you need to set up the hot tub initially and do your ongoing maintenance for your water to make sure it stays clean and safe. I've previously made videos about how to use hot tub chemicals and this one is specifically focused on the hot tub starter kit from Clearwater. If you're brand new to hot tubbing I recommend you start with these newer videos. I've just got myself a new hot tub which is a Santorini from Lazy Spa. I've got it inflated and set up in the right place, it's filled with water and I've also heated the temperature of that water to 20 degrees centigrade so I'm all ready to get started with adding my hot tub chemicals. Clearwater have been kind enough to support my channel and have provided the chemicals free of charge. However, all the views I give here are my own and I'm simply telling you how to use the kit. So let's get started with the video. When I bought my very first hot tub, it came with an offer that included a free starter kit just like this one. If you're new to hot tubs, it's really important to understand that you need to treat the water correctly before you use it for the first time. This treatment varies depending on the water quality in your area. Using these chemicals is vital to keeping the water clean and safe and to ensure you get the most out of your hot tub. These kits are widely available and it's a great way to get started with everything you need in one simple easy to use pack. So what's included in the pack? Well it has five essential chemicals that you'll need to get started. It also includes a handy set of instructions that give guidance on dosage and safety. First thing in these kits to talk about are these dip test strips. They allow you to know what's going on in the water and inform what you should do next. The second item are these chlorine granules. These allow you to shock the water when you do your initial setup and also allow you to maintain the water to keep it clean and safe. The next two items are something called pH plus and pH minus. They allow you to change the qualities of the water to make sure it's not too acidic or too alkali. They also allow you to adjust something called the total alkalinity. You may remember some of these terms from science class, but don't worry if you don't remember any of that. I'm going to go through in detail how to use them and it's much easier than it sounds. Finally, there's this foam remover and that does exactly what it says on the tin. If you get too much foam on the hot tub water, this allows it to settle down and remove it. So that's everything in the kit. Let's go through them one by one and I'll show you how to use them. The first thing we're going to go through are these dip test strips. These are going to be your brand new friend when you're looking into the quality of your hot tub water. They tell you three different qualities of the water. The first is how much free chlorine there is in there. The second is what the pH level is. And finally, they tell you what the total alkalinity is as well. Each of these three areas are all important and you're going to go through them one by one. In every case, you're trying to get them to the OK level as indicated on the outside of the pack. They're dead easy to use. All you need to do is take out an individual strip put the lid back on the bottle and then you're ready to dip it in the hot tub water. What you want to do is make sure you've got the air bubbles or the hydrojets running in your hot tub before you dip it in the water. All it needs is one quick dip and then wait 15 seconds to read the results. You read the results by comparing the colours that you've got on the test strip against the colours on the back of the pack. The thing to remember is you're not going to try and fix all three of these things at once. There's a specific order that you need to go through. First you get the chlorine sorted, then you get the total alkalinity right, and finally you adjust the pH level to get that correct too. Very quick point to remember is you want to keep these strips dry, so always put the lid on after you've used them and store them in a dry place. Chlorine granules that are included in the kit are known as a sanitizer. The idea is, is that they kill any organic compounds in the water, things like algae and bacteria. This helps keep the water clean and safe. When you first set up the hot tub, you'll want to shock the water using these chemicals. That means adding a large dose of chlorine all in one go to make sure you get the levels up quickly. I've created a specific video talking all about that and I'll link up to that in the corner. 
you'll find that the chlorine levels in your water tend to drop over time. This means you'll need to keep on topping up the chlorine and make sure you're keeping the levels just right. The best way to put the chlorine into your hot tub is to measure out the granules into a jug or bucket full with warm water first. Then pour this jug or bucket into the hot tub while you've got the air bubbles or jets running to make sure that they're thoroughly mixed. It's important that you then wait about 24 hours before you measure the chlorine levels in the water to make sure it's had the full time to mix and absorb. After you've done the initial shocking process, the granules can also be used to maintain the water, just adding a much smaller dose as and when required. A lot of people find that the easiest way to maintain the chlorine levels in the water after they've done the initial shock is to use tablets rather than granules. Clearwater offer a multifunction version of this tablet designed to go in a float or inside the Chem Connect in a Lazy Spa hot tub. I'll do a video specifically about those two. Moving on to the pH plus and the pH minus chemicals, these are the ones people tend to have the most problem with. They're actually dual function, as well as adjusting the pH, they also adjust the total alkalinity. And it's this total alkalinity we're going to have a look at first. The pH plus will raise the total alkalinity and the pH minus will reduce the total alkalinity. What you need to do will depend on the water in your area. If you live in a soft water area like me, the total alkalinity tends to be a little bit low when you first test it. To remedy this, you need to be adding some of the pH plus. My water is very soft here with very low total alkalinity and I need to add quite a large amount of pH plus to get this right in the first instance. I think what's especially confusing is that total alkalinity is a different property of the water to the idea of it being acidic or it being an alkali. You don't need to understand the chemistry of this, but just bear in mind if you need to raise the total alkalinity it's one and lower it it's the other. To understand how much of these chemicals you need to use, you need to go back to the dip test strips. Simply dip those in the water, they will give you the total alkalinity reading, you'll be able to see yourself whether it's too high or too low, and then that will inform you which of the chemicals you need to add. Just like with the chlorine, it's best to add these chemicals to a jug or bucket of warm water first and then mix that into the hot tub with the air jets or the hydro jets running. Just like with the chlorine, you need to wait before you can test the water. I would recommend leaving it at least two hours, that's the absolute minimum. The longer you leave it, the more you can be sure that the chemicals have mixed properly. Once you've got the results from your test strip, you can see if you need to add a little bit more or if actually if you've overdone it. If you've overdone it, it's not a problem, you just need to add the other one, the opposite one to which you added, and that will ultimately reduce or lower it as required. Getting the total alkalinity right the first time you do it can be a little bit of a pain. It's hard to judge how much you need to add, and it's easy to either underdo it or overdo it that you then need to fix. However, once you've done this once or twice, you'll get a feel for how much you need to add, and you should be able to get it right first time. You may notice as you're doing these tests for the total alkalinity that the pH in the water has also changed. Don't worry about that too much for now, we'll come back and treat that at the next stage. So moving on to the next thing we need to get sorted to make your hot tub water safe for use, and that's the pH level. Again, we're going to be using these two chemicals, the pH plus and the pH minus, to make sure we get that right. We're aiming to get the pH reading as a neutral, which is roughly between 7.2 and 7.6. If we're between those two numbers, then we're golden. Don't worry about the numbers too much, just look at the colours on the test strip container and that will tell you whether you're right or wrong. The reason this is so important is if you've got the water too acidic, it can actually damage the hot tub and damage the pump. Similarly, if it's too alkali, that can actually stain the hot tub or stain your swimwear when you go in the water. And to be honest, if the pH isn't neutral, it's not going to be good for your skin in any case. As the name suggests with these chemicals, they're actually very good at adjusting the pH level. They're actually more effective at changing the pH than they are at changing the total alkalinity. This is what allows you to go from fixing your total alkalinity first to then adjusting your pH. Just a small amount of these chemicals tends to have quite a large effect on the pH. This means with a little bit of back and forth you can get both the total alkalinity and the pH correct. I'm really lucky in my area in that because I've got soft water, by the time I've added enough pH plus to get the total alkalinity right, the pH level is more or less correct anyway. Although sometimes I do need to add just a tiny bit of pH minus to get it absolutely in the sweet spot. People who live in hard water areas sometimes have the toughest job to get this right. 
they often need to add lots of pH minus in order to get the total alkalinity, which is high to begin with, down to an acceptable level. This reduces the pH really low too. Then when they add a little bit of pH plus to get the pH correct, they find the total alkalinity starts to go up too. This just means you need to do a little bit of back and forth, adding more of the pH minus to get your total alkalinity down, and then just a little bit of pH plus to get that pH right. As with all of these chemicals, you need to wait at least two hours after adding any of the chemicals before you do the test. Then you can review and decide what you need to do next. Once you've got all three colours on your test strips for chlorine, for total alkalinity and for pH, all in the correct colour zone, then the water is ready to use. The final product in this kit is this foam remover. It's the most straightforward of all the products. The foam remover is designed to get rid of any excess foam that you've got in your water and also help protect against it forming again. The main causes of foam in your water tend to be contaminants. These usually come off people's skin, so it's things like makeup or deodorant or anything that's come off people when they've gone into the water. So if you find that you've got excess foam building up when people have been in, then once everyone's out, you can add some of this and it should help fix it. What I do is I tend to add a little splash of this foam remover when I first set the hot tub up and then use again if I develop a problem in the future. Unlike the other chemicals in the hot tub starter kit, this is actually in liquid form rather than in granules. This means you can add it straight into the hot tub without having to mix it first. It's best again just to have the bubbles or jets running to make sure it's evenly distributed. While this foam remover is a really effective product, the easiest way to keep foam out of your hot tub is to make sure everyone is clean who goes in the water. Make sure they all have a shower before they get into the hot tub and that dramatically reduces the chance of foam or any other problems with your water occurring. Clear Water Hot Tub Starter Kit is a brilliant way to get all the chemicals you need both to set up and ongoing maintenance for your hot tub. However, it's worth bearing in mind that it contains dangerous chemicals and you really need to think about how you use them and how you store them. When you're mixing the chemicals, it's always best to add chemicals to water and not water to chemicals, and it's always best to pre-mix in a separate jug before you add them into the hot tub. It's really, really important never to add any of these chemicals while the hot tub is in use. You don't want it getting directly onto people's skin. Don't be tempted to shortcut the process by mixing several of the products all at once to hopefully get the levels right in one go. You need to do the process stage by stage. The best safety advice I can give with these chemicals is just about taking your time. If you rush, you're more likely to have an accident. Make sure you mix the chemicals either indoors or out of the wind to make sure nothing gets spilt. Consider wearing eye protection and gloves to really be safe. And also make sure when you're storing these products, they're away from pets and where kids can get to them. So that's my guide to the clear water hot tub starter kit and how to set up your hot tub water. I hope you found it helpful. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. This video forms part of a series I'm creating on how to use clear water hot tub chemicals. Make sure you have a look around all of them because they can teach you every aspect of how to use hot tubs. If you did find this video informative in any way, it would really help my channel if you were to like this video and consider subscribing. But well, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.